Hey guys, JBT back at you with another gun video. And today we have a my first LMV to the channel. And this is the M27 IAR or Infantry Automatic Rifle. So this is a variant of the HK416 of rifles. I do have another 416 rifle that I will show in the next video. And let me go ahead and show you the close-up of this gun. So here's a quick close-up. So a bit of quick history about this gun is that back some time ago, I actually made a HK416. This was like a short barrel version of that gun though. But I don't know, I already had 416 gun and I decided you know what let's just do something else with this and I landed on the idea with the M27 and I do have a spoiler this is gonna kind of suck in my opinion but the spoiler is there is no 100 round beta mag or no extended magazine so I apologize for that I actually did try and make like a 60 round magazine but it was too big it did not fit the gun right I also did try and do a 100 round beta mag. I'm stop lying. I didn't even try. Like I was, I actually sketched it, but I just said, you know what? I don't feel like it. I, I I'm gonna do it another day. You know, I, I I do update videos anyway, so oh well, we, we'll just do an update. I'll do an update, and that would be fine. But let me go ahead and show you what's on this gun real quick. So real quick, today I have the flip sights. Uh, I don't have the dedicated sights in question are somewhere, I gotta find them. I'm actually gonna use those on my 416 though, but I'm gonna use flip ups for, the, for this one, for this gun. So aside from the reels, obviously, there is a charging on it. I honestly do not like the sound of this charging it sounds very crappy. I can't tell if you if you can hear it, but it sounds like a big toy gun. Kind of is a toy gun. You have an adjustable stock that can come off, and also a spoiler. I'm not gonna be changing out the stock. That's I don't I don't care about the stock like that. Magazine and magazine release. And then you got your sights. So it's a big old automatic infantry automatic rifle. It's taking the role, it takes the role of actually three different men, three kinds of guns. It takes the role of a designated marksman rifle, a light machine gun or a support weapon, and also an assault rifle. It's essentially an assault rifle or an LMG built on an assault rifle platform, if you say. I have some attachments to it for at least each setup, sort of, not really. But here are gonna be a setup. Here are the attachments. So here are the attachments right there. And now we're gonna take our lovely M27. I do have at least one mag different magazine. This is mag bullet. I'll just leave that on for now, you know, because it actually looks kind of cool. We have a full grip for the gun. So, just slide on the bottom, like this. And we're going to do some optics, so let me get that holographic over here. Holographic first. Here we go. That's your holographic on the gun. Oh, wow, I forgot to tell you about the trigger, but nothing much I can really say about the trigger other than the fact that it's, it's just the same trigger. It's actually a lot worse than every go thus far. Look at this, look at this. The, and it, and it, it, it even feels bad. Never mind about the trigger though. 
We'll go with the holographic site. Holographic. For X scope, I meant to say. And here. I do have this other red hat site here. His aim point red dot. I think this will look better on the other 416. You know, not this one. This one just does not. I mean, it's cool, but I didn't really build this for this. But I do have this site. I actually built this site just for this gun. And the M16 as well. Get that on. And we're gonna add that. We're gonna add this front set right there. There's actually one thing I did for this. But before we talk about that, here's the bipod for that DMR setup. But yeah. And we're also gonna add this laser side of it and I have a suppressor it took me a minute to find this suppressor this specific suppressor because I was not a fan of the other one right here but I am forgetting one part of the gun I forgot this mini red dot sight that we can fit on the top of the rim I like that I think this is more of a DMR setup and I think it's classified now. It, the name is, or the designation is the M38, designated marksman rifle, something like that. I think that's the right name, I don't know. You know let, me know, let me know what the name of it is in the comment section below if that's right or not. But here's the bipod, scope, scope, and stuff. Now in first person. Unlike this gun, the M16, this gun is actually pretty heavy, but not as heavy as the M16. The M16, when you have all this stuff on here, feels like you're holding a truck in your hand. This, this feels lighter, but it doesn't feel that much lighter. Very negligible change in terms of weight. Yeah, guys, that is my M27 infantry automatic rifle. And both assault rifle and DMR, unfortunately, I didn't have a LMG setup. But I will show that off in a separate video. And I'm, I'm not gonna do much to it. I'm just gonna show off like the magazine and stuff. I might even customize it the way Kai Ghost had it. You know, with the beta round magazine, little angle foregrip and the bipod zip ties and all that. You know, I'll even make the sight, the half, half moon sight thing. So, with that being said, guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for tuning into the channel. If you like this video, um, always remember to like the video. Uh, comment down below any of your thoughts, your suggestions, and so forth regarding this gun or any other guns you got in mind. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and enjoying the content. And turn on post notifications so you won't miss an upload. Also, check out my Instagram where I post artwork. Anytime I, if I mention that in a video or not, It'll still be in the comment section down below, so check that out as often as possible. Check it out often. But that is it for this video. Hope you liked it. Thank you for tuning into this video. And as always, have a great day. Peace out.